manager in South African international rugby. It's not about pitching up and being the best rugby team, it's about handling the pressure. Oh, it came out quickly. This is Berger! Unbelievable player, Shal Berger. For me, it's about enjoyment you know, and getting what I can get out of the game for the last twilight of your career. Having announced his imminent departure from English champion Saracens recently, we sat down with World Cup winner Scott Berger to look back on what has been an illustrious career. In 2003, I was a, a youngster, and then it was quite nice to go through the various phases. We had different you know, teammates in the four World Cups. There's a few of us who played a lot of those games together, so core cool group. I think England sort of transformed the way we, they played during the Rugby World Cup and went back to their traditional strengths. To the first pool match is quite well documented where you know we beat them by 36 points to nothing. Tries to get it through. Now here goes South Africa. There's a real problem for England. One pass and there goes JP Peterson for South Africa. And then we found them playing them in, in the World Cup final, and we all knew it was going to be a different game. And everyone who has played in the World Cup final know, you know, it's trying to be the best possible team and win a Rugby World Cup, not only for yourself, but obviously for your whole supporting nation. Already taken by Scott Berger. It's terribly, terribly oh, mobile. Obviously, England came out after half time with a bit of momentum. Uh, there was an opportunity for them to, to score the try. Mark Waito, foot and touch, you know, still heavily debated even in this little place we had at Saracens headquarters. Ball was in touch, okay. The ball was in no touch, try. no try. Oh my goodness. South Africa at that time, obviously, you know, it's been a while since we won in 1995, so this was our shot to win it in 2007, and we managed to do it. When you win the World Cup, you know, the first thing everyone says about it is just your first emotion is relief. You know, relief that you've got it done because you're in this pressure cooker situation for eight weeks. As a veteran of four Rugby World Cups, the 35-year-old is quietly confident of his compatriots' chances eight months out from Japan 2019. I quite like the position they're in because they're going to fly under the radar, not completely, but you know, going to the World Cup, I don't think everyone's going to pick them in the top four to win it. But they're going to be a tough team to beat, and I think they've shown that over the last three months. What I like most about the team currently is it seems to be identity, which probably have been lacking in previous years, the previous two years, but the team really seems to fire up and play for each other, and they're playing with intensity, which we all like. If you have to nitpick, you know, probably we're not as good tactically as we could. Technically, we're probably a little bit off. And that's why sometimes in wet conditions or tricky games, we probably won't get the result you expect us to get. It's going to be tough to beat us. And obviously, we've got All Blacks in our pool. Um, so that's going to be a massive game. I spent two seasons across in Japan and um, I love, love the country. As an Afrikaans-speaking South African, when you go from Cape Town and you arrive in Tokyo, it's like arriving in space. And I remember the first night I went to buy milk and I went down to the little convenience store. So I got sidetracked with the beers and as we do, a bit of wine, you know, there's some nice meats, here's some sushi. So I ended up buying like eight boxes of whatever. Some of it was green tea, some of it was apple juice. There was one milk and I had to screenshot that photo and every time I went back to the convenience store, I go, okay, okay now I understand where the milk is. We're obviously a very successful club, um, but I think behind our performances and the results we get, it's how we treat each other off the field. So, you know, obviously you're on a lot of group chats with teams that achieved a lot of things. As a South African that comes from a very relaxed atmosphere down in Cape Town, to walk into this place is, I mean, it's golden. So uh, we've got a real family spirit amongst each other. You know, everyone works together to try and be the best Saracen they can be. So, um, yeah, it's been super easy. It's been enjoyable. Um, winters has been hard, but when, when the sun shines like today, it's magnificent.